been so refreshing to get some rain here in Tucson after months of not even a drop. But did you know that you could actually make money off of the rain? That's right. Today we're going to teach you how. Joining us from Watershed Management Group is Lisa, Lisa Shippick and James Duracell. Guys, how are you? Doing yeah, great. Thank us. you for having us. And so tell us about what, what you guys have going on here and, and what we're managing. That's a great question. So um, water, mm -hmm. and uh, water is our most precious resource here in the desert. So that's what we spend a lot of our time teaching people about how to properly manage and conserve that water. And now is a great time to talk about that because of the monsoon. Mm -hmm. So the, the rain has been like almost dollar signs coming out <laughs> because I mean you can leverage the water that is falling from the sky and use it to work for you but again there's still a learning curve that has to happen right. it's not like you can just collect it in a rain bucket hey. and then drink it or bathe with it right, right. yeah well um, one little demonstration that really um, can really show what we're, our landscapes currently look like and how we can change that is the muffin tin demonstration. And so a lot of our landscapes look like this, where we have raised mounds with plants. Mm -hmm. And all we need to do to capture the rain that falls, that free rain from the sky, is flip that muffin tin over and create basins. And then all of a sudden, the rain that falls is going into these basins and collecting for the plants and instead of running off. That's what we're seeing right here. Yes, absolutely. That's a great demonstration of one of the homes that we um, did the landscape through our co-op program, okay. creating those basins to collect the rain. So you can actually go out to homes and help people create these basins if they're interested. Yes. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so our, our co-op program is one of several programs through okay. which we accomplish our mission. And the co-op program focuses on the residential sector. So it's kind of a barn raising model where you can go out to someone's home and volunteer some time to build a rainwater harvesting system. At the same time, you're learning about the design and construction of these systems. So mm -hmm. you can take that skill home, build your own system, or have the co-op come to your house and you get the benefit of all this free labor for having donated some of your time. Right. Wow, and that's a great idea. Now, in these basins, how long in our Tucson desert, dry, very hot climate will the water sit in there? Ideally, we like the water to infiltrate within 24 hours so okay. that we don't create problems with mosquitoes breeding or public oh, safety yeah. or other Green concerns. Water. But our t Tucson soils tend to be pretty well draining, so uh, it's usually not a problem. And we can infiltrate quite a lot of rainwater into the soil mm -hmm. and, in a sense, store that water within this healthy soil that's supporting native plants and all sorts of other things. Okay. But, and let's say I'm just getting started and I'm not really sure how far I want to go. What are some easy things I can do just to get the ball rolling at my own home? Great question. Um, I think one of the easiest things you can do is get out there during a rain, see what the water is doing, and then look at areas that you already have maybe some natural depressions and maybe enhance those areas. So get out the shovel, play around in the rain, um, see where you can create some more depressions. And then the other thing is adding mulch. So I have a little sample here. Okay. Um, this is just some basically tree trimmings, uh, organic material. And um, if you let well, first of all, whatever falls on your landscape, let it stay, but you can also get some of this free from tree trimming companies, and you put that in the basin, and that really helps with the soil moisture staying, so that will reduce your irrigation demand for your plants. Wow. So really inexpensive. Solution. Yeah, absolutely, and that's something everybody can pick up. What are the other two props that you brought? So these props are for, uh, for gray water systems, actually. Okay. And um, so as Lisa mentioned, one of the simplest things people can do is passively harvest rainwater, just moving dirt to create depressions to direct the water that falls on your property towards existing vegetation, towards new vegetation. Gray water is also another uh, easy thing to implement in most homes. Uh, laundry systems tend to be the easiest gray water systems to build. So you can direct laundry from your home into the landscape, install a simple system using parts uh, that are readily available at a, at a hardware store, and a simple three-way valve like this can let you direct gray water to the landscape when appropriate, or to the sewer if you have bleach or anything else in your load. So these systems aren't complex, they can be done at a relatively low cost, and they have a huge impact on water consumption in the mm -hmm. typical household. And keeping the cost down, that's important, right? Because we, we want to be able to do this without massive effort and, and, and finance. Right, and <clears throat> what's really exciting is that our water utility, Tucson Water, has an amazing rebate for both rainwater and gray water systems. Um, you can get up to $1,000 or a dollar per gallon on tanks. Um, so you're really almost cutting the cost in half for a lot of these systems, um, which is very exciting uh, to make it affordable for everyone. So it's almost an investment. 
Absolutely. Because yeah. of the return. Yep, and then you have that system in place for the lifespan of your time in that home, and you're, you can be saving money every year with that. And besides saving money, let's talk about how does this affect the community and Tucson as a whole? Well, um, one of our goals uh, as a nonprofit organization is that we want to help people make these small actions to scale up and make a larger impact in the community. And that is looking at our watershed as a whole and our health, healthy watershed. And to do that, we really need to be um, looking at our our groundwater levels, we need to be looking at our areas, uh, riparian areas, our washes, our streams, our rivers, and making sure that we're, we're having the water resources to keep those beautiful places healthy. Mm -hmm. And so our individual efforts at home can really scale up to make a difference for those um, areas that we all love and know and are throughout Tucson. Because in Tucson, we have to manage the water that we have because it just, there's not a lot of it. Right. Absolutely. Yep. And this all will help. Thank you both for joining us guys, today. This awesome. is very eye opening and very yeah. interesting, too. I didn't know a lot of Wouldn't these simple thought. things that you yeah. can be doing. Well, thank you for having us. Absolutely. And to learn more about Watershed Management Group, you can call them at 396 3266 or watershedmg.org. Again, that number is 396 3266 and watershedmg.org. Still ahead on the morning button, we'll get a live performance from guys that play all your favorites from the Eagles and Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Plus, we'll have a visit from the doc who says that pain is his game and he's going to rid you all of them. That's right after this.